Welcome to Her Remarkable History. Remember, to support our channel, please subscribe. The five different types of queen. Throughout the centuries, there were a number of women who became the heads of their countries. For such a long time, women were considered weak rulers, but things then changed as time went on. It was Lady Jane Grey, the nine-day queen, who became the first queen of England. However, she was never crowned, but then, just a few days later, she was deposed by Mary I, who became known as Bloody Mary, for her executions which included burning people at the stake. But there are actually five different types of queen that have different roles and responsibilities inside of a country. But what are these different queens? Queen Regnant A queen regnant is a woman that inherits the crown in her own right, being a woman who by the rights of birth has become the heir or heiress. And with this she has become a queen, and she has the same powers and rights and responsibilities as a king. There have been six queen regnants throughout English history, being Mary I, Elizabeth I, Mary II, Queen Anne, Victoria, and also the recently deceased Queen Elizabeth II. Scotland itself has been ruled over by five queen regnants, including Mary Queen of Scots, Mary II, Queen Anne, Victoria, and Elizabeth II. A queen regnant is the traditional queen that holds the power within a country. Queen Consort A queen consort is the most common queen in English history. A queen consort, in a sense, is the wife of a king, and they hold little or no power within the country. They are referred to as Her Majesty the Queen and also sign off on documents as R in the same manner that a Queen Regnant would. However, the consort is considered an attendant and close companion of the King, but ultimately they are women who are considered having little or no say in the running and governance of a country. But they are very well respected and many women hold them in high regard. Queen Dowager A Queen Dowager is a former Queen Consort whose husband the King has died. The title is rarely used, but the widow of the King uses the title and first name Queen. The widow of King George V throughout her life following the death of her husband was known as Her Majesty the Queen Mary, even whilst her sons and granddaughter were reigning over the country. Mary was a queen, however, she is no longer the queen or the woman who was closest to the ruler. Elizabeth Woodville was later restored to the position of Queen Dowager, following the ascension of Henry VII as king, when he defeated King Richard III at the Battle of Bosworth Field. Queen Mother but when a dowager queen's daughter or son becomes the reigning monarch following the death of their husband, the former queen becomes known as the Queen Mother. It is a title which is not necessarily used much. However, famously, the Queen Mother, as in the mother of Elizabeth II, the former wife of King George VI, used this for some time. There was a great deal of confusion at the time, as the mother of Elizabeth II was actually called Elizabeth herself, meaning that technically there were two Queen Elizabeths. But to separate, the Queen Mother was referred to in this way, but her servants and close friends still called her Queen Elizabeth. But a Queen Mother can never be given this title if she was never a Queen herself, and because of this, there were a number of women who never became a Queen Mother. The mothers of Edward IV, Henry VII and Queen Victoria were never known as this, as they were not queens, but they were still held in high regard, as they were still treated as royalty. Queen Regent But one of the rarest titles for a queen 
that has been given is the Queen Regent. This is used for when a king is absent for some time, as he would leave his wife in charge. For example, during the reign of King Henry VIII, he would appoint his first wife, Catherine of Aragon, as regent whilst he was away, and she would be a figurehead that defeated the Scottish at the Battle of Flodden, which resulted in the death of the Scottish king. Also, Henry's sixth wife, Catherine Parr, became a queen regent. Sometimes queens are referred to as the regent whilst their children are the rulers, and they are too young to rule successfully as a king or queen. Mary of Guise became queen regent in Scotland whilst her daughter was young, but this may be a title which may exist in the past. Thank you for watching, and to support, please subscribe to Her Remarkable History. Thank you.